Hey everybody, this is Greg with NotionInkFan.com. I got a new update from Rohit at Notion Inc. about an hour ago, and I've loaded it up and I've started testing. Overall, stability has been improved. Uh, there's been some enhancements to a few of the applications. I put a list on my website of some of the things that they've been working on, and I'm mostly excited about this non-blinking battery up here. So the status bar, notification bar, no longer is in your face like it used to be. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy about that because it's very annoying. But the main reason I'm making this video is because some of the users have been frustrated with the application switcher, not really understanding how it works and, and getting different reactions at different times. And So I thought we'd look at that really briefly and, and kind of understand a little bit better how it works. So when I say application switcher, what I'm talking about, here the second button down is the home button. If I press that for a long press for two to three seconds, it switches to this application switcher, what we know as select panel. And I can go through and scroll my apps and come back to where I was and so forth. Um, I can open applications from in here from either the application launcher or I can open them by pressing uh, the, I don't know what you call this, but the active application icon panel I call it. Anyway, if I press like the browser, it's already open. If I hit the home button now once, it takes me back to the panel view. If I do the same thing again, and I do a long press, while in the application of full screen, I get the panel switcher, or application switcher. Um, so let me go back to where I was again. And this time what I want to show you though is, if I go into the uh, Android default menu page, and I open the browser that way in full screen, if I do a short press on the home button, it'll take me back to the... Um, Android default menu screen. But if I go back in there again and I do a long press, it doesn't do anything. Okay, that's the behavior of it. When I open an application from uh, Android's default screen, the behavior of the home button is short press, takes me back to the menu again, long press, doesn't do anything, which is different from. Eden. If I open an Eden from the application launcher or from here, Short press, takes me back to the panels. Long press, takes me to the applications panel switcher. And that's basically what I wanted to show you. It's a little frustrating if you don't understand that. So there'll be more stuff to come in the future. Keep an eye on the site and watch out for this update. It should be out in the next couple of days.